Hola there, my sexy compadres y mamacitas. My name is Peter Mbevidos to my kitchen where I'll be teaching you how to cook for charity. Man, I'm exhausted. I'm low on hearts and stamina. I've been so busy with school, so busy with flying, and so busy celebrating the Eagles winning the Super Bowl, baby! Oh, that's right, the Eagles won, and I made a little deal on Twitter. If you guys didn't know, on Twitter, I said uh, if the Eagles win, I will be making the Enduring Potion from Breath of the Wild using real crickets. And there's three reasons why I said this. One, every time there's a Nintendo Director at E3, I normally say I'm going to make this video if Golden Sun 4 gets announced. Golden Sun 4 is probably never going to happen because Camelot's too busy making Mario Tennis. Two, I believe in the Eagles, and I've been a die-hard Eagles fan since I was little, and if you were a fan of my old channel, you probably remember some of the celebrational videos I did during then. And well, I thought, better yet, if I want to make this video, why not believe in the team that won the Super Bowl? And three, I'm a great A schmuck. So, making all those three things, combining them together, we have today's video where we're going to be making the Enduring Potion from Breath of the Wild using real crickets to restore my stamina. But I'm also low on heart, so as a little bonus, we're going to be making also the Fairy Tonic from Breath of the Wild too, so restoring my heart and my stamina. So without further delay, guys, let's get cooking. The ingredients you're going to be needing for the Enduring Elixir are 2 cups of baby spinach, 1 Fuji apple, 2 Enduring carrots peeled and chopped fine, 1 cup of potion base, but in the real world you could probably use Greek yogurt, 2 tablespoons of honey, 3 fourths cup of ice, and optionally, this is completely optional, if you want to make it identical to the game and use crickets, you can use 1 tablespoon of crickets or 1 tablespoon of cricket powder, and if not, you kind of want to have a superfood in your uh, mix, you can use, instead of the crickets, a half a teaspoon of spirulina, where I did in the other green potion I made, but this is completely optional, they're not needed to make the enduring elixir. <laughs> First you want to wash, peel, and then chop your carrots as finely as you can so they don't get stuck in your blender. Next you're going to do the same thing with your apple, just wash and peel it and then chop it as finely as you can. Next you're going to add in your ice and then your base which is your yogurt. Then you're going to add in your apples and carrots. Now the moment you've been waiting for, the optional step, this is where you're going to add in your crickets. Mmm, they look delightful. Then you're going to pour your honey on top of it, and then lastly, fill it with your spinach, and then blend on high. If any time it gets stuck and doesn't start to blend, just push it down with a wooden spoon, and then it'll start to incorporate everything together. Once it's nice and neon green, then your elixir is ready, so get yourself your potion jar, or whatever you're going to drink it in, and pour it down. Now normally, this is the part of the video where I say I can't wait to try what we just made, so I'm going to dig right in, but to be honest, I'm a little scared. It's, it's a real potion with real crickets, but I'm a man of my wood, and I'm going to keep my promise. So to restoring some of my stamina, to keep my promise, and to congratulate the Philadelphia Eagles on their Super Bowl win, bottoms up. You know, that's actually not half bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's talk about the flavor. Okay, well, first off, you all probably know about the crickets. You really don't taste it. You got a little bit of that roastiness because they're roasted crickets. Um, you got a little bit like specks in there. But other than that, it totally melts away in your mouth and that's just your source of protein right there. Then, where you really get that taste of is from the apples and the yogurt and the honey. It's a little sweet, but kind of like a nice good breakfast smoothie to start up your day, give you that energy and get you out of there. You don't taste the carrots, they're entirely lost. And in the spinach, you have that little bit of that green taste, but it gives it its color and it's healthy for you. So I would say this is one good enduring potion. Give me back my stamina. I feel like I can run a marathon now. But if you don't want to use the crickets, you don't have to use crickets. But if you want to kind of use crickets, I would recommend using cricket powder. If you don't want to use cricket powder, you can use algae. Or I did it for the other green potion I did when I did the red, blue, and green potions from uh, Majora's Mask. So uh, other than that, I think it's a pretty good smoothie. Good, good breakfast smoothie to start your day up and get you uh, going. But 
Like I said, I'm also low on my hearts. So we're gonna be making that fairy tonic. And we're gonna need some special ingredients for that. One of the things is fairy water. So if you don't have that, you can probably just use tonic water. It's pretty much the same thing. But now let's start making that fairy tonic. For this simple cocktail slash fairy tonic, you're only going to need 3.5 ounces of grapefruit juice, 5 ounces of fairy water or tonic water, half a lime, and 1.5 ounces of gin. If you're young Link and you want to give this a try, you can try this. You can put 3.5 ounces of fresh grapefruit juice, 5 ounces of salsa water, half a lime, and 1 ounce of simple syrup and just mix that together. You can get somewhat of a grapefruit type of soda, but overall this is supposed to be a tonic and gin and tonic drink, so that's why we're sticking with the adult beverage. <laughs> Wash and then cut your grapefruit in half so it will be easier to juice. In a big bowl, you want to squeeze all the juice out and then run it through a strainer to remove any seeds. Once you do that, cut a lime in half and add half of a lime juice. And then grab your fairy water. Once you have your fairy water, you're going to add in your grapefruit and lime mixture and then your gin and you're going to give it a quick stir. Either by mixing it with a spoon or you can shake the bottle. Now, this is where I can say I'm looking forward to try this. Gin and tonics are a great, great drink. And this is a fairy tonic, so it's a little bit more refreshing. It's nice and bubbly because of the fairy water, the tonic water, if you have to use that. But let's go try this and uh, give uh, the Eagles a little bit better of a celebrational drink rather than crickets. So, I'm going to try this. Uh, and that's refreshing. That hits the spot. That's, that's good. Yeah. That's the good stuff. Okay. Most of all, most importantly, you get that flavor of that grapefruit. It hits your tongue. But right before it hits your tongue, bam! You get that fizziness from the tonic water. And to tie it all together, you get that nice, nice, beautiful taste of gin. This, this drink is complimented oh so well. The lime, pretty much, it's kind of like lost in there, but it gives a little bit more of a bite. It complements everything in this nice package. And I can see why these things restore hearts. Man, I feel a lot better already. So, if you want to make a better celebration on drink, I would definitely go for the fairy tonic, but if you're looking for that energy boost in the morning, then yeah, you can go make that enduring potion, but yeah, it's a pretty good little potion, and I can see why uh, fairies like to help you out make this, because it's very refreshing. Once again, my compadres and mamacitas, thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said in the past, when you watch these videos, money is made. That money is automatically donated to charity. I keep none of the funds I make. Everything is donated to charity. So please, guys, if you enjoyed this video, share it on the socials. Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, whatever you use. It really, really helps me out. Give it a comment below and tell me what you enjoyed about it and give it a like. And if you didn't like it, just, just like it and tell me why. I love reading constructive criticism. Unless it's if you're a Patriots fan and you guys lost and you're sour that you lost to the Philadelphia Eagles. But, you know, it's okay. You, you, let, let, me, let me enjoy this, all right? Uh, with all jokes aside, guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm so sorry for the delay. Like I said, I've been busy with school and flight, and it took a while to get these crickets, and I wanted to make the best video, the most tastiest potion you can drink, rather than making something disgusting or something half-ass, um, like using the same four recipes over and over again, like some other people might do. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that this is something delicious you can try, and if you wanted to be ballsy enough and use it with real crickets, you can. Make sure you use roasted crickets, not something you find in your backyard or cricket powder. Um, but other than that, guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, the other potions came out uh, a little, uh, a little bad, so that's why it took a while to kind of come together, taste different things, because uh, those videos would not have been uh, family friendly under YouTube's guidelines. Because uh, I don't have that strong of a stomach as like Link does. Uh, but guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Next week, I'm going to be doing another video that's going to be two recipes in one. I'm going to try this formula out. I'm going to see if I can pair everything with a drink. Um, normally this is two drinks, but if there was an entree, I would do a drink with it, another potion, trying to do as many of these videos as I can. And there's also something really big in the works, something like I said in the last video, will take your breath away. Uh, so I'm working on this big project. Uh, hopefully you guys will stay tuned and see that and enjoy it. But guys, as always, thanks you for watching. I really appreciate the support and I really hope you enjoyed this video. So uh, as always, stay sexy. Adios. I'll see you guys next time.